Novo, why can't I ever say that word? Novo Nordisk, if you're listening, you could be on the verge of something big here. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, then welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. Let's just jump right into it. How many medications do you know that were, that have changed life as we know it, and it was just all done by accident? Mm -hmm. Come on now, 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 now. Don't give me strength. Five medications that were discovered by accident, and those five are antibiotics, meaning specifically penicillin, Viagra, uh -huh. um, birth control, pacemakers, and antidepressants, to name just a few. I'm sure there are many, but those are the five that I saw first. So those are the ones that I'm going to mention. With that being said, I feel like this is a discussion to be had here. If any of this resonates with you, I encourage you to please comment down in the comment section and share your experience. I'm sharing what I have personally experienced myself. So uh, if we can just kind of add to the conversation, then maybe, just maybe, this information will get in the right hands and it could benefit us all. Things that I first noticed when I started taking Wagovi, obviously, um, the appetite suppressant, but then again, there was fatigue and things like that, headaches, like right when your body's getting acclimated to it. But for me, one of the major things that I noticed was that my symptoms, because I am in perimenopause, of hot flashes, like they stopped. Uh, the whole time that I was on Wagovi, I did not have any hot flashes. I also noticed that my cravings, so just not just my hunger, but just like my cravings in general, like my cravings for sugar. I have to write this down because right now I have brain fog. I don't forget. Uh, but my cravings for sugar, caffeine, and alcohol, like I had no taste for it, like certain meats, just the thought of food would just make me, ugh. I'm just like, you know, you go, mm, I got a taste for some pizza tonight, or oh, maybe I feel like burgers, or, you know, I don't know, chicken, or just whatever it is, I'm spitting all over this, or just whatever it is, like, I noticed that I did not have a craving for those things, and I'm thinking, if you are taking something like this, or maybe you struggle with addiction, sugar addiction, um, alcohol, like I feel like this could really be the key to something big. I mean, you think take Viagra, that's a billion dollar industry, and so is the weight loss industry. I mean, this could be something huge and life changing for millions of people, men and women. So, you know, those of us who are overweight, um, going through menopause, perimenopause, struggling with alcohol, um, struggling with um, caffeine addictions or sugar addictions. Like those are the ones that I specifically, oh, I wasn't struggling with alcohol, but you know what I mean. I just didn't have a taste for it. Like I, my favorite drink is margarita. Like I just love me a good margarita, but I just like, I found myself not even wanting it. Um, I always kept a bottle of wine because, you know, have a little wine dinner here and there. I didn't, I have not bought wine in months. So that's, which is kind of bring me to another point. I noticed that my hot flashes stopped within like two weeks of stop, not taking the Wagovi anymore, but the um me not wanting like having really a taste for alcohol that pretty much is still the same and that was not the same that was different before so i feel like i'm all over the place <sighs> so freaking <annoying. laughs> so, it's life just it's, it's freaking life changing it's life changing it's life altering and i just really you know I, at this point, I'll, I'll, you know, at this point, I feel like I would want to take the Wagovi just for the side effects that I'm having with the perimenopause. Like, it, it really alleviated, like, it completely stopped my hot flashes, um, but it alleviated a lot of symptoms that I have been having, and I just, just, they just came back with a vengeance. You know, I know that you can be on what go be like long term, but you know, yeah, like what has been your experience with, you know, things that you notice that you don't crave anymore? I mean, I just really hope, like, share this video. I usually don't ask people to do that, but I would encourage you to share this video so that it can get in the right hands because, you know, I know when they do trials and things like that, like, you know, I don't know if, if that has been discovered or has it, 
you know, even been talked about, but I cannot be the only one. Like I cannot be the only one, you know, and I'm not sure if it's kind of, you know, how you go to the doctor and you're like, well, I don't feel well. Well, it's specifically like what's wrong with you. I don't know, doc. I'm just, I'm just not feeling well. Like that, the doctor can't help you with that. But if you have someone that can like verbalize and say, you know what, you know, on this day, I felt this way. I tried this and that didn't work. And then on this day, I felt this way. Like if you can get somebody that can like literally break it down and, you know, articulate that correctly, then they can do some, you know, they can use that information to help. So it's like helping yourself. So I don't know, but I just thought that <laughs> I feel like I needed to say this. Um, it needed to, it needs to be out there, you know, <sighs> It needs to be out there because I feel like this could be used for so many other things. You know, obviously weight loss being the biggest one, but you know, and what I'm dealing with isn't associated with weight. Like you can be underweight, malnourished and still have issues with alcohol or sugar cravings like that. It's just so many different avenues that this can go and, and, you know, I have been thinking about doing this for a while, but I wanted to make sure that I get this out there. Um, I know I'm kind of all over the place with this video, and I'm really sorry about that, but um, just kind of, you know, you guys have seen me go back and forth with this, and um, yeah, it it is really, I don't know, you know, the weight loss, it's, it's, I'm not going to say it's stalled because I'm still losing fat because I'm still working hard at it. But, you know, obviously it is much harder. It's not as easy as it was before. So, you know, I don't want to, you know, I have to really work on it. I have to really work at it um, and not forget my, uh, my things that I've learned early on, like counting calories, keeping my body moving, things like that. Um, it's kind of hard because with the perimenopause, I retain water and I really wasn't doing that before, um, before I started with Gobi. So sometimes my numbers are up and then I get that big swoosh effect, which I, which I spoke about in a previous video. But, um, yeah, um, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that I get this information out there to you guys. Let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation about it. You know, what do you guys experience? Like, is there something different, you know, that it did help you with? Or you're just like, no, this isn't for me. Because um, someone is always being helped in those comments, including myself. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to get here and let you guys know that I am doing well. I miss you all. I hope you guys are doing well, too. And for those of you who have just recently found my channel, then welcome. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch me sweat. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, that too. But, um, oh my God. Like, I have a... one spray that I use to make sure that my makeup doesn't move like this is I am sweltering like I am sweltering Oof. it's all on my neck this somebody help me love it all right guys as always thank you guys so much for coming to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one bye